Hey guys, it's Chi from Spreadshot Games. I'm finally glad to be back. Um, got a new camera. It's a better camera, um, so hopefully this looks a tad bit better. Uh, I got a new hairless face to go along with it, but as you can tell from the title, this is going to be the drawing for my contest, which so many people entered. Um, which actually, <laughs> there's only seven, yes, yeah, seven entrants which is great by me because I don't have to cut up a bunch of things and put them in a hat. In fact, I'm not going to cut up anything and put it in a damn hat. I'm going to do it through random.org. I watched Doom Waves do this for his competition. Um, very, very easy. And I'll show you guys on screen how it's going to go. But I'm just going to read off everybody that uh, replied what they wanted. And in case you guys don't remember, the question I ask is, what do you want to see out of the future of gaming? Uh, with the next generations uh, pretty much already announced, you know, Xbox is still on the fence, but it's guaranteed to happen soon. Uh, I was just interested to see what, what did you guys want out of the future of video games? And we're going to start off with my good friend Tom. He's got an awesome channel. He responded with... Uh, He'd like to see a new a new PlayStation controller with a beefier control pad, um, and that's about it. Once a new PlayStation controller, and I, I remember I responded to him. Uh, I think the PlayStation controller is pretty much perfect. Uh, I don't love it, love it, but it's it does its job well for the games it has on it. But um, I really I really really like the PlayStation controller. It, I think. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, but uh, he wants some minor tweaks to it, so it looks like he actually got that, because when the PlayStation 4 was announced, all we got was the new controller, and it did look like it had a bigger D-pad, or at least a thicker D-pad, not those little smooth buttons that are by themselves, you know, just kind of wimpy. It looked a little bigger, a little meatier on it, which is, uh, that's a plus in my book. And then next we got Michael Clark, 1995. Uh, he, he just wants to see games on the PS4 have disc or SD cards instead of everything being downloadable. So I kind of do too just because I'm a collector. I do download some full-fledged titles. I have Gears of War 3 downloaded on my Xbox because my disc copy broke. Um, and I bought it when it was on sale. I have Metro 2033 downloaded, as well as all my Xbox Live titles, um, like Xbox Live Arcade titles. But there are some, you know, full-fledged retail games I do have downloaded. Um, do I want to download all of the games? No. If they're cheaper, would I like to? If I wanted to check some titles out, yes, definitely. Uh, but the collector side of me is always going to want a box with some kind of media in it. But um, I'm with you, Michael Clark, on that one. I would definitely like to see, you know, some kind of boxes and physical media um, put out. Another quick note, uh, Pierce Jedi, he opted not to be in the contest, but he did reply with a comment, which, uh, Pierce Jedi, thanks a lot. It's nice to have you take part in the conversation, even though you don't want a big cardboard dude in your house. That's fine with me. Uh, I think he's allergic to cardboard, so, so uh, we'll see. Um, and he says, hold on, I gotta scroll up, uh, he says he's looking for the up, upcoming Halo games, uh, that he's, he's excited for, you know, the new Mario, Zeldas, Sonics, Mortal Kombat, stuff like that, but, um, he says he's a huge, you know, Halo fan, which I am too, Halo's actually my favorite franchise, so, again, I'm right there with you, Pierce Jedi. Uh, I just hope they take their time with it. I'm not in any rush to play Halo 5 at all. But, um, eventually, it would be really, really cool. Uh, even though I love Halo a lot, I'm, I'm looking forward to the day where it gets put to rest. Um, it'll be cool to finish off this trilogy. Hopefully it lasts a long time. That's why I'm saying I don't mind how long the games take. I just would not like to see a Halo game like every two years. I think that's a little much. Uh, for a game franchise I love so much, uh, 
I'd like to see time put into each one, and then when the new release comes out, I'll be like, oh, I've been waiting forever. That's how I want to feel, not how I do with Call of Duty or Assassin's Creed, where I'm just like, didn't they just make one of those games? Um, that's the main reason I've actually opted to not play those games anymore now, is because it seems like I just finish one, just buy one, just start playing one, and another one's announced, which is kind of annoying. It's awesome that they're still making, you know, cool content for a world that gamers love. But for me, it's just kind of like, I have no interest because I just, uh, I just started playing. And I think it's a business model that will eventually run its course, as we saw with Guitar Hero and stuff like that, which I like that franchise, but, you know, a yearly release kind of killed it. But thanks, Pierce Jedi, for that. Next, we got T-Bone, 1347. He says, I'd like to see another Elder Scrolls game. Skyrim was still and is a lot of fun. What I don't want to see is more <laughs> Call of Duty. They're getting a little bit old and boring during the same shit over and over again. I want to see PlayStation be able to share games with, uh, with more than one person and also be able to change your PSN name. That's all I have to say about that. And just to throw it in there, my favorite Sega game is Mortal Kombat. Because in the video, um, I talked about what do we want out of the future. I just didn't know, like, what is your rarest game? What is your favorite game on such systems? So, as an example, I gave, what is your favorite Sega game? And he just threw it in there. But, again, just as I was reiterating in the last one, it's nice to, you know, get get away from, you know, the yearly re releases of games like Call of Duty and Assassin's Creed. Um, I'm really excited also to see what Skyrim can be, can, like, what Bethesda can do with Skyrim on a next generation platform. Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to blow our minds just with uh, the stuff that I've been reading about The Witcher 3 and that one um, game that Capcom had that was like a a Dark Souls looking game. I don't think that was actual gameplay, but it's looking to be like, you know, if Bethesda can do a lot with some next generation hardware, uh, I'm definitely excited for the next Elder Scrolls. Uh, the Collector 7100, he's next, and uh, he said he was going to make a video response, which he never did, but he did comment and say what he wanted. So he's he said he's looking forward to the future and what GTA 5 is going to hold. Um, I do have Grand Theft Auto 5 pre-ordered. I'm not a huge Grand Theft Auto fan at all. Um, the game does look very, very neat, though. It looks like an awesome open-world game. What I'm most excited about with that is to kind of just delve in and play with my friends. If it's anything like Red Dead Redemption, uh, I'm sold. If it's like Red Dead Redemption in the city, um, I'm pretty sure me and my friends will find all kinds of crazy stuff to do you know, in an open world environment like we did with, with RDR. We had a lot of fun just running around, shooting bears, jumping off cliffs, uh, just a bunch of stupid shit. But uh, I'm really looking forward to GTA 5 and playing that with my friends. Uh, Robert Old T5? Um, he's looking for more Vita stuff. Uh, he wants it to be more supported. He loves the system. But he thinks games are just being kind of slapped together, and he thinks they deserve more time dedicated to them. He just wants better PlayStation Vita games. Um, I agree, because I'm, I'm looking into to getting a Vita. Uh, hopefully with PlayStation 4 and all the stuff that are going for, is this you can download everything. Hopefully the Vita, I'm hoping, becomes just a portal to all the plat, you know, past PlayStation library games in the palm of your hand. That, to me, would be amazing. If they can start getting lots and lots of old system games, you know, for cheap download, that you could just download into the palm of your hand on your Vita, um, that's amazing. So, you know, even if it looks like the future software on the Vita is going to be pretty solid, but if they can take already solid titles from the past, make them cheap, and then just put them in your hand, um, that's a system seller for me. I'll definitely pick one up if I see that develop more with the Vita. Next is uh, Machine Games Texas. He had an awesome giveaway. Mine compares nothing to his. But um, he says he wants further interaction with online play. Maybe a decent MMO or RPG for launch. Graphics, of course. Microphone. 
um, bout in the controller so he doesn't have to hook up his retarded PS3 camera or wear an earpiece to communicate. Or a Bluetooth mic clip for your t-shirt while playing. Uh, clear chat and wireless hands free and head free. So a built-in mic to the controller just so they can hear you talk you know, while you're playing. I don't know if somebody's a button masher if that would like uh, clog up that stuff, but I definitely hear you uh, machine games with the you know clear chat. Uh, I think every you know system right now chat's pretty muddy. Uh, sound quality's not great. Hopefully, with Microsoft's acquisition of Skype, um, they might be able to get a little bit you know clearer reception stuff going on with that. Maybe. Um, you know, all in all, I don't know, but I definitely would like, you know, better communication, especially on PlayStation's part. That's the biggest one, the biggest reason I choose 360 over PlayStation 3, even though I own both, is that connecting with my friends and family back home is so much easier to do on an Xbox 360 with chat and party setup and stuff like that. So I definitely feel you on that part. And then, last guy getting in, um, towards the very end, JCAU99. Uh, it's glad glad to have him on board. He makes some awesome stuff. Uh, he says he just wants to be able to play Battlefield with more than 24 people, like 40. Uh, eventually, he'd like to see consoles be open source so developers can develop for one platform. Uh, I think it'd be awesome to have, you know, a one console future, too. A lot of people talk about it. I don't know if it'll ever happen anytime soon, but... I hope it would be awesome just to own one system and then have everybody focus on, uh, you know, just just games, because that's why I buy a damn system is for games. Um, you know, you can tout Blu-ray and stuff like, oh, the Xbox got better chat and party setup like I just did. But honestly, what makes us buy a video game console is fucking video games. So to have every video game playing through one box. Um, would be great. Hopefully with the more consoles kind of go towards PCs, you know, we hopefully get that. Um, I don't know how, you know, who who out of the big three right now is going to want to throw in the flag, especially with, it seems like more and more people are rushing to go in with stuff like the Ouya and the Steambox, uh, you know, instead of people pulling out and, you know, making the the field of, you know, battle with less combatants smaller, uh, more people are thrown into the fray, so who knows who might acquire who, who will back out, what will succeed and what won't, but, um, I definitely would, I think a one console future would just benefit everybody, um, plus it would put an end to a lot of stupid fucking arguments, but that was everybody, so we had seven entrants, and what I'm going to do, in the order I said their names, I got them on a list, which I'll show you now. Okay, so as you can see, I got a little notepad up here, and just with everybody's name I said, um, in the order I said them, I put them in as a number. So number one is Tom, number two is Michael Clark, 1995, number three, T-Bone, 1347, number four, Matthew Cook, number five, The Collector, 7100, Number six, Robert Old T5. Number seven, Machine Games TX. And number eight, JCAU99. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open random.org, and I accidentally had seven in here. So, you got a min and a max. Our max is eight. And we're going to generate a number, and whatever number comes up, we're gonna match it with a list, and that's who's gonna win. Here we go. So number four is our result. Now we'll bring our note back up. So Matthew Cook, you're the winner. Congratulations. Hope you got room in your house for uh, some cardboard stuff. I'm going to throw in a bunch of extra crap with it too. And uh, thanks for responding, man. And thanks for everybody that made a response. Hopefully with this new camera, I can get in and start making some new videos. Until then, I'll see you guys star side.